I was psyched because it's also a romantic dramedy, right? And, and I was playing this sexy, vibrant woman who was my age. The first, I mean, I, we've talked about it before, but the, the very first message I got from the head of the, the network was to please not touch my face, um, which I didn't anyway. But the idea that not only was I playing a woman my age, but I was really owning that age, whatever that means, uh, that I didn't have to pretend to be in a 35-year-old's body. Um, Is that a rarity uh, in terms of a message from a network to, to not touch your face? I've, I've never heard that. I mean, they don't tell you to touch your face. And I think most of the time when women do, it's out of a panic because they feel like they're going to be perceived as too old in some way. But, but ultimately, I find even when young girls are doing a lot of the things that they're doing to their face that makes them look older, because it makes them look like an indefinable age, and the assumption is that they're much older than they are. Um, and I'm, in, I'm curious to see what those faces will age like, because it won't be the same as a face that hasn't been meddled with. It's so fascinating. I never thought of like the future of young plastic surgery faces. Or like just what? injection faces, because right. I was talking about this with a facialist who said that she's seeing, you have this whole generation of women who started doing Botox when they were 19, and their, their facial muscles are paralyzed. Yep. So they're sagging in a different way. Um, so age will look different on them, but we will all age should we have the honor of living long enough. But, um, and that's the thing. And I, so I'm proud to be my age. I feel, it's like as you leave the years of your fertility behind, you have all this life experience. You have all this maturity and, and color to offer the world. And it's, it's an incredibly powerful moment in a woman's life.